Should one massage the baby in the morning or at night? Do you bathe them before or after the massage? Does one massage them at the same time every day? Today, let's understand how to choose the right window for massaging your baby and establishing a routine. So let's right dive into the topic and uh, let's begin with understanding, uh, which is also a very frequent question in the classes that we conduct. And uh, it is, what is the best time to massage my baby and what would you say to them? Okay, yeah, we get that question a lot. What is the best time to massage my baby? Um, when yes. I would say, Alpa, that uh, massage is best done uh, when the baby is in a quiet alert state, when they are not hungry, they are not fussy, not crying and not very mm -hmm. full either. So try and wait 30 to 45 minutes after a feeding. Also, uh, the time should be when, when the baby can focus on each other with as little external distraction and stimulation as possible. So it's the time of the day where you know you are rushed. Um, you have to take some calls or you have to, you know, run some errands and you know that you're really under pressure for time. Maybe that's not the best time either. Uh, so right. we need to pick a time, actually, pick a window, mm -hmm. uh, which is not by the clock on the wall, but something as per the baby's schedule. Uh, and then that also works for the parents. So that's what I would say. Right. Uh, you mentioned a quiet alert state, Jyoti. So could you elaborate a little bit on that? How does one, uh, what is a quiet alert state? Uh, well, there are six behavioral states observed in babies. Uh, there's the quiet alert state, the active alert state. Uh, there's the deep sleep, light sleep, hmm. drowsy, and there is uh, crying. So uh, between all these states, we do not recommend mm -hmm. that babies be massaged when they are crying, obviously. Uh, also, right. not when they are sleeping. So neither deep sleep nor light sleep. Right. The best state to massage the baby is when they are in a quiet, alert state. And let me explain what I mean by that. Mm. Uh, you know, a behavioral state uh, is when you observe certain cues in your baby that tell you about what they want to do or how they are feeling. For example, if a baby is yawning, their eyelids are drooping or fluttering uh, and you notice uh, them, uh, you know, uh, their uh, focus is uh, not there. They're, you know, they, that probably tells you drowsy they may want to fall asleep. Similar, a quiet mm. alert state is where baby is content, relaxed, yet they are alert. They are ready to engage. They are playful. Uh, they yes. may be focusing uh, on your face. They may observe what's going on around them. Their body language is relaxed and play playful. And they make eye contact with you and they smile at you. Uh, this is the state which we term as quiet alert state. And this is the state where is learn the best. This is the state in which they love interacting. And this is the state where uh, they would tremendously benefit if we engage with them. Having said that, it is hmm. also possible to massage babies when they are in an active alert state or a drowsy state. So an active alert state means that now, uh, and in this state, the babies have become a little hyperactive. They may be a little bit fussy, whimpering. They may want a change of scenario. Maybe they are understimulated. Maybe they are overstimulated. Hmm. Uh, so if we can figure out uh, what's going on, we can use our massage or interaction to bring them to a balanced state of being with the quiet alert state where we want them to be. Uh, similarly, mm. if they are drowsy, 
if they are trying to fall asleep with our interaction and massage, uh, gentle massage, soft music, dim light, maybe we can help them fall asleep. If they are trying to wake up, maybe slowly with our touch and our hugs and our cuddles and then a gentle uh, massage stroke, we can help them come into wakefulness. Um, so hmm. we really uh, have to observe our baby's cues and behavioral states and then proceed with the massage. Right, right. So uh, sounds like it's all about uh, observing your baby, understanding your baby and then going ahead to pick up the right time or the right window when to massage the baby. Yes. So absolutely. next, yes. Uh, but Jyoti, in case of newborns, uh, babies sleep a lot. So how do parents uh, find that uh, this window that we are talking about to fit in the massage? Yes, that's right. Initially, babies spend a lot of time sleeping and it is very important for them. They are using that time for brain development, uh, for their growth. Uh, for overall development. All their systems need that time for them to grow. Uh, therefore, we recommend please uh, do not massage babies when they are asleep. You know, that's what I just said a few minutes ago. Mm. But yes, parents do find this challenging. Uh, how to massage a baby? When to find the time? Because the babies are spending so much time sleeping. Uh, yeah, that is correct. Initially, you will see in the first few weeks that babies spend a lot of time sleeping. Over the next few months, you will observe you will have a little bit of a more time. The behavioral states change over the first few weeks and months. Uh, so slowly, you will find over weeks and months that now they are sleeping. Uh, they are waking up more. Slowly, you will find over months that the quiet alert state is more. That's why also, mm. if you have heard our previous sessions, uh, you know, uh, I, uh, I'm talking to my listeners here. If you have not, go back and listen, please. Uh, if you uh, uh, have heard what we said earlier, start the massage only after the baby is three weeks old. You know, initially... We let them, you know, be how they are. Uh, they need that time to acclimatize for their growth and development. We just use a lot of skin to skin hugs and cuddles for the first three weeks. Thereafter, we introduce a short session, maybe just five minutes of massage. That's all. In the beginning, at three weeks when we start, we introduce just five minutes a day. Uh, over uh, we make it about 10 minutes a day. Say it's close to three months, we are massaging our babies for about 10 minutes a day. Uh, mm. After that, from three to six months, we can increase that to about 15 to 20 minutes a day. And after the baby six months, six months to one year, we can massage them for maybe 30 minutes a day. So this also uh, is placed in the fact that the baby's behavioral states are changing. The baby's systems are maturing. Therefore, we are also graduating our massage sessions according to that. Uh, so as okay. the time goes by, uh, with time, we increase that. And we never need to go more than 30 minutes a day. Okay. So does that also mean that we can break up the massage and do it over two to three sessions in, an, in in the same day? Yes, if we don't find a window, uh, like if we want to give our massage, uh, our massage our baby for 20 minutes and uh, after 10 minutes of massage in the morning, for some reason we didn't have time that day or the baby started... Um, crying and we were not able to comfort them and bring them back to a content state where we could continue mm. our massage 
yes we can uh, split our massages any which ways we can split our massages and do it over two three sessions a day uh, so it is absolutely a done thing we don't need to do our massage in one go uh, however uh, if you uh, want to put oil on your baby uh, you don't need to you know give a oil massage every time so if you've given the oil massage in the morning in the night you don't need to give an oil massage you can do the massage without oil okay uh, so absolutely you can break up the massage session do 5 10 minutes in the morning 10 minutes in the night when you find the right window go ahead and give your massage right right we have heard this from many parents where they say that uh... the the babies get a massage in the morning for some time and again they do get a massage in the evening uh, like a bedtime routine so it's really nice if one can uh, if need be one can break up the massage sessions into twice or maybe even thrice in a day yeah absolutely Great. and like you know if in between also you find you're playing with your baby at times Uh, yeah. and your baby is uh, uh, you know you're sit they're sitting in between your leg you're reading a book to them uh, you want to have some play time together you can absolutely you know over their clothes give them a leg massage and ha- a hand massage a head massage go ahead and baby not a problem right right So another common question uh, do i give a bath before or after a massage uh, is it necessary to give a bath after every massage for example if we break up into two to three sessions every day a bath has to be given every time uh so mm, what is necessary if we give an oil massage is that we clean the baby's skin a few minutes after that so even if you want to let right. the oil stay on for a few minutes um make sure that you clean it with a damp soft cloth within 30 minutes so either give them a massage or wipe their skin clean uh it should be clean it's important that we remove any leftover oil is important so in that sense it makes um, it is more logical to first give a massage and give a bath however hmm. many people find that if they give a bath earlier and then give a massage uh, that's also okay maybe you are using a lotion or you are giving them a massage over their clothes uh, in that case you don't need to give them a bath right or um if you are wiping their skin off with a damp cloth and removing all traces of oil then also it's okay uh, so again i'll repeat if you are giving a massage two times a day it's not necessary to use oil both times one time is okay. more than enough for the baby to get oiled and then the skin to be clean and the other time it can be on top of the clothes or it can be with the lotion or it can uh, you know the oil is just there to give you a glide you don't need to use oil every time yeah and to answer the question about the bath well it is important to clean the skin yeah correct so thank you for the wonderful insights jyoti i'm sure it's going to be helpful to many parents out there and uh, in our next circle we are going to address uh, which oils what is the best oil any any queries and doubts on oils so until then thank you jyoti for addressing the questions today and uh, thank you all our listeners for joining us in today and we hope that you join us uh, on our next circle too Until then take care and bye Thank you so much Bye Jyoti Thank you Alpa thanks everybody bye Thank you for watching For more such videos do like share and subscribe to the first parents